Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at NG class, which is uh, maybe slightly underdocumented in the Angular documentation it's, uh, to the point that there's a lot of questions that come up about it uh, on Stack Overflow. It seems to be all over the place. Uh, so we're just going to take a quick look at it. Uh, on the left, I've got an HTML page. I uh, threw in some just some basic CSS. I got a class for blue of, uh, to be the color blue and so on. Nice and simple. Uh, I am going to create a controller here the controller into that. Uh, of course, I'm going to inject scope and I'm gonna start building this out. And I'm just going to add to this some uh, arbitrary data. So uh, scope items equals that's an array, of course. And then we're just going to have some objects in here. We're going to give them a title. Uh, this one's going to be A. And then we're also going to have a type. And that's what we're going to use to kind of play with these styles. So there's one, two, three, four, that should do us. We'll make this one a two, and we'll make that one a three. Uh, and then this will be B, this will be C, and this will be D. So uh, let's go ahead and get this on the page. That controller, and then we'll just iterate through this with a series of bold tags. So ng repeat equals item and items Oops. and then we'll just uh, put the title so item dot title okay let's take a look at that really quick before we get too far in this so we've got a, a b c and d okay so the first way we can do this uh, so here's our ng class directive uh, whoops and the first thing we can do is we can just use something from our scope so if i wanted to say down here uh, scope dot style one equals and I'm going to spell it uh, blue uh, so here I could just say style one and when I reload this they're all going to be blue uh, in addition to that if I wanted to add multiple styles I can just throw into an array so style two and then down here if I say style two is going to be underlined it'll apply that class and so now you know they're all underlined so whoops wait a minute sorry style two so it should be blue and underlined there we go and you know let me just throw a little margin on this uh, so we can see them broken out okay so they're all blue and they're all uh, style two and you know of course if I change this in the controller it'll change it uh, up there so that's one way to use it uh, let's jump over here let's you know let's just use this again throw a little HR there and there we go okay so now another way we can use it is with the object notation um, and the way we do that is we pass in the key so blue uh, is the class that we want to apply so the key is the class and then the value of the key if it evaluates to true then uh, it'll apply that class so let's say here uh, I'm gonna say item dot type is equal to one so if it's one it'll be blue so in our case it should be the a and the c so let's try that really quick so the a and the c are blue and then if i want to continue on with that i could say red if the item dot type is equal to uh three so now our a should be blue and our c should be blue but our d should be uh red let's load that up so that works just fine awesome Okay, so another way we can use this, uh, let's get our HR in there. So we've got this, let's, uh, let's roll this back a little bit. So we're gonna use the object notation again, but in this case, what we're gonna do is we're kinda gonna switch it around. So what we're gonna say is, uh, and you know what, I should be using uh, uh, apostrophes there, but I'm just gonna use the key as the value. So, um, so now I'm saying, the thing to evaluate is the key and if uh, that evaluates to be true then um, use the value so in this case I'm going to say one is blue I'm going to say two is red and I'm going to say three is uh, what do we have have we got a green up there yeah green so green and then what we do is we just we just call on the key so this is just like a basic, I mean, it's really the equivalent of calling the, I mean, something as simple as just passing in the value. 
uh, but, or the value for the class. But what we're doing is we've created this JSON object right here. And so if you imagine, you know, if we had a, a JSON object and we wanted to get the key of, of uh, you know, one, we would just pass it in like that. Or if, it, you know, the key had a name of one, we would pass it in like that. So really that's all we're gonna do here. And we're just gonna pass it the item type. And so now when we reload over here, we can see the A has a type of one and the C has a type of one and we applied that to blue. Uh, but the B has a type of two and so it gets the class of red and the D has a type of three, so it gets a class of green. Uh, so there you go, there's a really quick look at how to use, use ng class in a few different ways. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's certainly not as complicated as you might find some of the questions are uh, that you'll find online. Uh, but there you go, quick look at ng class. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.